so this is a very basic question so what if i don't know what i want to do but i do need a job what should my game plan be if any not that loud uh if you're in that position then i think you're in the perfect perfect place to be because to be in college and not know where you're going that's one of the purposes of going to college you're getting an education you're not getting a pre-placement training program i think that's one thing you guys need to realize to whatever if you look at it, the people with more experience you know where they started and when they are is very different because where you are starting from college you have no idea where you're going to be 25 years from now where i started also it's been very recent since i graduated but even then i've already changed like complete industries so you guys have to realize that it's fine look at a company where you can gain exposure um if you're not sure what kind of job you want i would then recommend don't maybe go to a larger place try to get more skills get exposure learn how to work build up your management leadership experience if you can these are skills which can help you anywhere in life that's a way of really trying to get into um the first job because your first job is a stepping stone get the skills get the uh, you know get the attitude get the exposure i think exposure is the best word that you can in your first job if you're not too sure what you want to do sure a lot of you are like you know this is what i want to do that's fantastic but a lot of you will won't and i can guarantee you at least 50% of the people here in 5 years will be in a completely different job and a lot of you are saying this guy doesn't know what he's talking about i can guarantee it you can take my number and call me in 5 years and i can guarantee it a uh, very very interesting question so it's very critical that you know what you want to do but unfortunately after 45 years i still don't know what i want to do <laughs> uh the only reason i stuck in my company for 23 years because every 2 years i decided to do something else and they discovered that i could do something else within the company so they gave me a new responsibility so every 2 years i found a new challenge to do something else and i did that so it's been a 2 year 3 year cycle for me in 23 years in one organization and still don't know and i've left that organization i still don't know what i want to do <laughs> so that's a question you're going to battle with all your life it will change it will evolve right but what is critical is at this stage make a beginning make a beginning on something that you believe you'll be happy doing please don't worry about a job don't worry about uh, money and if you can't do a job become an entrepreneur i think startup thing is enough now for you to come up with an idea collaborate and start something but figure out what you think you'll be happy doing you will not get tired he ran 10 10 kilometers in the morning huh? he's not tired and if you would have done another two he would not have been tired it would have been sense of achievement is what i believe i ride 1000 kilometers in a day every sunday 4 o'clock i'll go come back in the evening go to hubli and come back i am not tired i am happy doing that right so figure out what you are happy doing and don't tell me no i don't know what i'm happy also with so that's <laughs> not going to work right and if you think you're happy being a waiter in an organization in a restaurant it's all right do just get on with it and you will figure out you will figure out what you enjoy doing and people will figure out look he's so happy doing that this is what he should be doing and they'll pay you for that or maybe someday you will pay people for doing something like that that's my bit so sorry sir i have one question uh sir when company come to campus recruitment they have cut off right a 60 70 60 where there are many people that they are very good enough to do anything other than who have uh, cut off that uh, they don't get a chance will the company missing that one uh, talented person because only like only some people missed ssc because illness i know is company missing those people it's a good question let me uh, attempt to answer that and you can add on you do have a seat yeah so uh, you know why i'm saying uh, this question is good is because uh, i keep getting these questions uh, a number of times and uh, i think what everybody here needs to understand is that uh, every company so when it goes whether it's cognizant wipro any company which it goes it gets huge number of you know applications so everybody is not possible to be interviewed just because there are just like uh, you know logistic issues just like that there are number of campuses there is like maybe 3000 5000 god knows how many engineering campuses across india 
it is not possible i mean even, even if wipro for example wants to go it is not possible for any company to visit 1000 campuses you can only go to 100 150 whatever you know some x number of campuses that's all that is why they have to have means and methods of you know uh, seeing students from others and that is why this industry is evolving a little bit in terms of you know the off campus activities and these so similarly is that cut off thing that's like you know it's so every uh, there is a you know uh, at least thought of correlation between academic performance and job performance and uh, you know that correlation is probably better than you know uh, for want of anything else i think that's the correlation which every company uses so they have to have some cut off which they put but i don't think every company has cut off there are several companies i know who do not do do not you know believe in cut offs they do not believe in you know they'll have some different criteria they'll want you to write something they want you to present something they will. so everything uh, companies are different in their thinking but mostly i have seen i would agree with you that you know it companies and other companies they would uh, the regular companies would have some cut offs and they they need to have cut offs because otherwise you know things can just get out of hand so really i think that's the reality anybody can answer if you want <coughs> yeah so uh, there are two two ways uh, industry looks at campus hires when you are looking at uh, say for instance let's take the case of a Uh, Wipro or an Infosys, they will go to two types of campuses: the Tier One campuses and the Tier Two campuses. So you look at NIT, Calicut, and College of Engineering, Trivandrum. If I take a Kerala example, when I went for campus interview back to Trivandrum, the instruction that was given to the panel that went was to select, not to reject, because. Wipro was not day one, day two, day three. We were like day five or something. So you you ha- hear this day concept. That's something that B schools had, but now because of the huge amount of pressure intake that is happening, even the top engineering schools have this concept. So when a tier one is going, day one is all those you know the high tech companies uh, paying good salaries, and then the the typical it service providers come day 3 onwards and there the the approach is more of selection because they know that the base of the student in that campus is decent right you you have a good sense of the quality that is coming through but as rajesh is saying in a large organization like an infosys or a wipro at entry levels you are actually rejecting resumes that you are getting trying to get to a, a a a basic level of basic set of criteria based on which they will propose people to the next level so if you have, if you have lost out on that race don't feel disheartened your approach could be to have deep expertise in certain areas in your academics go to startups and smaller organizations and you know push your way in the startups want people who are differentiated in terms of skills attitudes approaches etc there you will actually learn more and then in a few years either you grow with the startup or you grow outside of the startup in a in a larger larger organization like a cognizant or an accent that's the way to chalk your career my view uh thanks very much thanks very much to the students and thanks very much panel members uh, we are drawing to a close of this session uh we are just